Hey guys, it's Liz with Flippin' Lizards and it's day three and I'm really trying to do a video every day and um, it's harder than it seems. Like it doesn't seem like this should be that hard, but it is difficult to make the time to one, think of what you're gonna, okay. Fine. I don't know why it's difficult, it's so weird. <laughs> It takes a lot of time to figure out what you want to talk about and sort of plan the video out. Then it takes time to record the video and then you've got to edit it. Um, and I don't know, it is more time consuming than I thought, but pretty fun. I want to talk today about some garage sale finds that I have made or found in the last couple weeks. I can tell you that I have zero experience with garage sales. I've never ever in my life gone to garage sales. So this has been um, a learning experience. Now I watch a lot of videos on garage sales. I see a lot of negotiation happening at garage sales and I am not that great at that part. I'm like whatever it's marked, I'm probably gonna pay you. So I gotta work on that, right? Like if it says $3, I should be like, well, you take two? Like, I don't, why can't I just say that? I don't know. This is also probably why I never get a raise at work <laughs> because I am not good at asking for these kinds of things. And I don't know, am I the only one that's like this? Like, I feel like I'm a pretty assertive woman. Like, anyhow, that is another story for another video some other day. Um, let's talk about garage sales. So um, Last weekend, my town had like a community-wide garage sale and I took my kids with me. And so I'm going to go through some of the items that we picked up that weekend. And then Friday, I also went out um, just a couple days ago. Yesterday. See? Quarantine time. I don't, I mean, Friday seems like days ago. It was yesterday. Um, but I'm going to kind of go through some of the stuff I picked up yesterday as well. I'll show you um, what I found, what I've listed it at, and we'll kind of go from there. So, I have to look at my phone, apologies. Um, the first thing I picked up was, it was just so cute. You can see it right here. It's a little um, super soft giraffe. It attaches to a crib and it plays like soothing sounds. Um, it was $1. I probably shouldn't have picked this up. I am. I do not pull my phone out and look stuff up at eBay, on eBay, at garage sales. I'll do it in a thrift store all day, but I won't do it at a garage sale. I don't know, it just seems like kind of disrespectful. Do other people do that? Like, do you walk away and look and then come back? I don't know. Um, but it was a dollar, I mean, and so I've listed it at $13.99. At this point, it's got like 31 views, no watchers, but I don't know, I might, Maybe I'll drop the price a couple bucks and, and see if it moves, but I probably shouldn't have picked that up. It's not really a name brand. I just thought it was so cute. And this is why I'm probably not great at garage selling yet because like I grab stuff I think is cute. I also have the same problem at thrift stores. I just grab stuff I think is cute and it's not always great for resale. What are you gonna do? Um, okay, so that I've got several video games I'm gonna post here. Um, this was actually my son's little deal. He actually negotiated. Now, it was a friend of mine, so she probably made it easier on him. Um, but I think it came to $32. It was seven games. The total that they had priced it at came to like $30 or $32. And he managed to get... Um, that was just me pushing my kid out of the way. <laughs> he negotiated. He's learning to negotiate. He's better than me, obviously, because he tries. But he he hasn't really figured out like that middle point yet. So he when she said make him an offer, he said a dollar for thirty dollars worth of games. He they landed at eighteen or yeah eighteen dollars I think, and I think he got six or seven games. Um, so we got um, yeah seven games. He got WWE two K seventeen, Troll and I. PS4, um, look, I have to go into sold because the other ones have already sold, which is so crazy. Um, WWE 2K15, which I actually talked about in my video yesterday. Um, Vampire from Xbox One, Far Cry 5, 
four, Xbox One, and I think that's it. And then he's got um, Little Big Planet three. And what Trevor's talking about is Matthew got Little Big Planet three, but then we had to download it for Trevor because he really wanted it. So we actually paid full price to download it on our PlayStation. Maybe we can make a video of me playing. <laughs> Yeah, so um, these actually have sold really fast, and um, I basically told Matthew I spent $18 for him, so he has to pay me my $18 back, and any, any profit he makes after that is his to keep, which he wants to basically go buy more video games and try to sell them, which is awesome. Oh, this was another pickup by Matthew, and I don't know anything about this stuff, but it was $1.00. And he got a silver iHome um, IP9 alarm clock radio for an Apple iPod or the original iPhone. So it's not the lightning connector. It's the old longer one. We have it listed at $14.15. It's gotten some decent um, views. It doesn't have any watchers yet, but that's about what it's selling for any, anywhere between like there and 2025. Um, so I think that's just sort of waiting for the right buyer. We'll see. But he got it for a buck. I, I got it for a buck. I mean, he didn't have any money that day. Kids. It's so great. Um, but I think we'll see something on that. I don't know. I, I understand, like, the older electronics are actually rather valuable, which I didn't I didn't know before all of this. Um, I picked this right here, Raggedy Andy, 100th anniversary dollop, again, for $1. It still has the tags on it. It's in pristine condition. Um... It's really nice. So I listed that at $14.90, which is a little bit under what other people are listing. Um, it seems like the Raggedy Ann seems to be a little more desirable than Raggedy Andy. Um, girl power, but I don't know. Um, so we'll see. I also got this Finding Nemo plush 18-inch clownfish. And it's got the original, like, Disney... Not It doesn't have the tags, but it has the Disney... Um, tag still attached to like the cloth one there's a word for this label it still has a label and it's in great condition as well that one was for a dollar and i have it listed for 13 so we'll see if we get a buyer um now i want to move into some stuff that i got for free so i went to my friend marissa's like family garage sale we did <laughs> we did get a lot of stuff for free they had like a ton of stuff I got, I bought a lot of stuff from them and then I also picked up a bunch of free stuff. So they had like just garbage bags in front that were filled with like plushes and stuffed animals um, and it was all free. So I just threw them all in my trunk and brought them home, which was only around the corner from me. And I basically went through them and looked up everything inside of them. So if it was in decent condition, I searched it on eBay and if there was any value to it, I kept it. Everything else I put back in the bags and I actually donated. Um, so you can see here there was three um, Barney and Baby Bop plush toys, which my first kid was super into Barney. I don't know about like other parents that went through this, but it's a painful memory for me, that song over and over <sighs> thankfully I just never let my younger two even know that it was a thing so I didn't have to go through it again um anyways I I mean there maybe other people have some sort of nostalgia with Barney I do not myself but I imagine maybe like maybe people my son's age might be into it because they, they remember it from their like young childhood so there was three of them they were free I put them together in one lot and I listed them for $20.99 or best offer plus shipping. So we'll see if they move. They do seem to be selling on their own. I was just trying to get a little more money for them. So I lotted them together. Um, now I got two of these actually. So this is a vintage. It's from the 1970s. Um, Casey Jones puppy dog train engineer stuffed plush. There was actually two of these. So one I paid for it. I think I paid $3.00. It was in pristine condition, like perfect condition. The second was in the free stuff. That is also in excellent condition, but it has some discolorations on like the denim and you know, a little, some stains and like it was played with, you can tell. And it's from the seventies, right? 
So I actually listed them both separately and I sort of connected them. Um, and on each listing put on the, the, the lower level one that I listed at $18 and 99 cents that I have a pristine one. If you want to check my listings and I, and I've actually seen they're getting very similar views. So I think people are jumping back and forth on the listing looking. So we'll see if those go, but I mean, if you, even if you, even if you did $3 for the two of them at $1.50 a piece, it looks like I can make about 50 or 60, 50. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, this next one, um, where is it? I'm so sorry. This one is, and I have two of these as well. I've only listed one so far. This is a vintage cheer detergent plush chiro. It's like a kangaroo. Um, I think this is from the early eighties. Let me see if I, 19, I'm not early, wait, 1987. Um, so some of these have sold in the last couple months. I don't know. I listed it kind of low at $15. Again, I got it for free out of a garbage bag at a garage sale. Um, and then I have a second one. So if I sell that one, I'll sell the other one for the same. So it's from 1987. It's cute. It's in pretty decent condition. Um, what else did I pick up? Okay, so then at the garage sales I went to yesterday, and I only had like an hour from when I needed to get my kids. Um, I bought a bunch of video games, one of which already sold, that sold yesterday. There was um, a bunch of PS3 games. She sold them all to me for a dollar a piece. Um, I lotted two um, Assassin's Creed games together and listed those at $8. So I spent two, eight plus shipping. They're gonna pay the shipping. Um, it's a win, right? There's Devil May Cry. I did not have Matthew with me, and he's my video game expert, so I didn't do the best on picking the games, but I could have done worse. Um, I got a Medal of Honor game, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, um, and, and then I picked up some interesting stuff, and I did not look, like I said, I didn't, I was just guessing, but I did not look any of this up. So the first thing I picked up was it was listed at $5, it was, or it was listed. It was for sale for $5 at the garage sale. And it's a Norman Rockwell Vintage Collector's Coffee Mug Set, trimmed in 24 karat gold. So it's four mugs, and you can see it right here. Um, and so I got it for $5, and I listed this um, coffee mug set at $16.99, or best offer. There were um, several of them actually listed and they were kind of priced all over the place. Like I'm not sure people know the value. Some were significantly more, 25 or $30. Didn't seem like those were selling. The ones that have sold were anywhere between 12 and 20. So I went at 16.99 and we'll see. Um, I also picked up for $3 this LG external super multi DVD rewriter. And I don't think that they make those anymore, or if they do, I haven't seen them, where you can burn a DVD, right? So it was in excellent condition. I opened it up, I checked it out. It has all the original discs and cords. And um, so I grabbed that for three bucks. You can see it right here. And I have it listed for $21.99. And we'll see if it sells. Okay, this one was like a super random pickup. I think, I think it may have been a mistake, to be totally honest. So I'll put it up here. I came across it. It is still, I should grab it. It's huge. One, it's really big and heavy. It was $3 and it is a Pottery Craft motorized potter's wheel still in the plastic. Now the plastic's ripped, but it's clearly never been opened. But it's from the 1970s. So I grabbed it and bought it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I looked and there are a couple for sale and a couple have sold. So then I did a little more research and I looked at YouTube and what I realized is people are ordering these off of eBay and doing unboxings 
and trying to use them on YouTube, which is actually kind of hilarious because it's from the 70s. Like the clay is totally like a rock. The paint is all dry. I mean, after 50 years, 40 years, it would be like that. And like the sponge just, just, just disintegrates in your hand. So if anyone on YouTube is looking for this item, I've got it at an excellent price. I've listed it at $22. I totally undercut the other person that has one listed right now, which I think is at like 36. Because once I realized what was inside, I'm like, I can't sell this to someone for $36. I'll feel awful. I don't want bad karma. But you want to try a pottery wheel from the 1970s? I have one. I do. I know. Who would have thought? These are the problems I'm having at garage sales is that I don't really know what I'm looking for. I stay away from the clothes. I don't know why. I should probably look through people's clothes. Um, but I'm struggling because I don't know necessarily what to be looking for. And I watch a lot of videos. There's definitely an expertise and an eye in knowing what to pick up. Um, and it's fun looking for like little treasures that you can resell. And then it's like really interesting to see how much you can make. But, um, now I've got, I have so much stuff piled up and I've got most of it listed, but I don't really have anywhere to store it. So I need to figure that out. My husband's like, you're going to need it like a warehouse soon. That does not. That's not what I want. I don't want a warehouse. Anyhow, um, I sold another two items today. So I shipped out, well, I'd already sold it, but they paid. I shipped out that really cute skirt. And then um, I had, uh, I'll actually show it right here. Is that better? Um, <laughs> when my 10 year old was born in 2010, I ordered on Amazon one of those really cute little frames where you do like their handprints and um, I never did his handprints. Then I had another baby. I never did his handprints. And so this thing was still new in the box in the original Amazon, Amazon box with the original receipt from 2010. Um, somehow it got moved from Vegas to here and our move across the country still in the box. And so I just listed it. Um, I listed it for $8.99 and I got $8.99 today. It's shipping all the way to California. I'm in New York. Um, so the shipping was a little expensive. She spent, I want to say it was like $13 or $14 because it was like two pounds. Um, so I shipped that out today as well. Um, so another, I mean, decent day, not as good as yesterday. I need to go get some more sneakers, cleats and stuff. But I will keep you guys posted on whether I'm like doing better with like the thrift stores or the garage sales or the retail arbitrage or just a combination of three, but I'm going to go. I was going to make today shorter and I'm not sure that that worked. Um, but I'm really trying to not talk so much, but I talk a lot. Anyways, um, I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. I hope your weekend is going great. Um, let me know in the comments kind of what you're interested in hearing about like is this interesting me trying to find stuff and what I didn't share is all the duds I got at the garage sales maybe I should share that here's all the things I bought that are worth nothing because I've done that quite a bit too um and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see or um I could try to like take you out shopping with me I don't know. How hard can that be? Everyone else does it. Do they, I don't know if they're putting a GoPro on or what, but I could do that. So let me know and have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.